Hello, investors. It is Connor Bates, Associate Portfolio Manager with Revere Asset Management. Today is Wednesday, July 3rd, 2.04 p.m. Eastern Time, coming to you from Fort Lauderdale, Florida, with tonight's Revere Roundup Daily Market Insight video. Market state, we continue to be in uptrend. The S&P 500 notched another all-time high close. Nothing to be bearish about that. And if we take a look at the trend gauge, market leaders still acting well with the green arrow. Short term, this is our 21-day exponential moving average. We have the green arrow there as well, although small and mid caps continue to underperform. Medium term, this is our 50-day moving average, green arrow with uh, underperformance from small and mid caps. And 200-day moving average, we have the green arrow there as well. So the S&P 500 notched another all-time high close. Good action from growth leaders, specifically semiconductor stocks and commodities were very strong today. Here are the final numbers. 21 over 21 list, up 0.19%. 8 green, 4 neutral, 9 red. Big 8 up 1.43%. RG8 up 0.57%. S&P 500 up 0.51%. Equal weight 0.04%. QQQ up 0.89%, equal weight up 0.12, Dow down 0.09, mid caps 0.25, Russell 2000 0.17, 6040 0.6, and in-house growth protection up 0.53%. So let's take a look at the inner asset correlation. So this is chart of the S&P 500, and if I go to the 60 minute here, Right, so this 54.47 level was big. It's been tested, you know, a handful of times as you can see. And then we finally took out 55.05 today. And that's a fantastic breakout. Um, can't really ask for much more. QQQ, same thing, notch another all time high. And if you look at the weekly, this is a three weeks tight. So that's very bullish. Dow continues to underperform. And, you know, it is forming a little cheat entry here. You have the moving averages stacked up. And we saw we saw the Dow try to outperform for a brief period of time, but it's back to being the underperforming index. So I'm um, still watching it, but not a whole lot going on there. And the weekly still looks good, forming a weekly base. Uh, mid caps, again, they can't. They can't break out from this downtrend line. Rejected here, here, here. Numerous rejections. Um, these moving averages are getting very coiled tight. So these look like they, they're going to have expansion sooner or later. The, direc the direction, that's unknown. Russell 2000, similar as mid caps, continues to reject this, reject this downtrend line. But, you know, the moving averages haven't been this tight in over a year so might be signaling something is coming but overall um not too bad and the weekly again starting to get tight and we just really want to see a big volume push outside of this range the vix um sitting right at this 11 12 spot looking back undercut and reclaim of this level has led to some rallies in the vix so something to keep an eye on uh this, we'll look at the dollar here. Dollar was down 0.31%. Um, that would break out on the dollars, good, and commodities were liking it today as well. Gold, wedge popping back above these moving averages. Um, so obviously this 225 is the high, this 210 is the low. So we'll see, but a strong day from it today. Gold stocks, really strong today, up 3.62% and pop strong over this uh, little 35 level. Silver, we bought this one yesterday off to a good start up 3.3%. Breaking, so it, this 27.24 was that previous high. We undercut and reclaimed it, and we just broke this like trend line right here. And as you can see, RS line's breaking a big downtrend line. So maybe could be a sign that money's gonna flow back into commodities for a period. We'll see. Bitcoin down 2.3%, you know, continues to underperform. And so 
obviously watching this key level, which is the bottom of the base, maybe undercut and reclaims like it did here that led to the big rally, but overall not, not, not trending just in this range. Broad bonds, um, you know, held the 200 day. TLT, strong recovery, had a very harsh two days and now at 1.2%, putting a nice reversal candle in today. TYX 30 year, wedge dropping all the moving averages, TNX, um, you know, just sitting right here, not a whole lot. So that's the inner asset correlation. Let's take a look at the towel, the tape. Um, so day count, two days up in a row, um, or uh, sorry, new. So we got the jobs report Friday, reminder, the markets close tomorrow for 4th of July. We've got three days up above the eight EMA, 23 days above the 21 EMA and um, trending above the moving averages, market leaders, green arrow, our expectations continue to be positive. We're trend followers. We're going to follow the trend and let the market guide us. And the markets has been giving a bullish bias for weeks. And, and that's how we continue to uh, act in the market. Um, sectors wise. So like I mentioned, a lot of strength in commodities today. Silver was up. Solar's getting kind of a dead cat bounce. Copper strong. Uranium. Metals and miners, ARC K, um, Tesla's up like 40% in the last month. So ARC's been starting to get some love. Gold as well, and then down. Bitcoin weak, regional banks weak, biotech, healthcare, and financials. So in-house, uh, our adjusted beta got notched up to 1.41. We took a starter in cores and ARM. And then we sold um, the NVIDIA hedge for some of the taxable clients. So bottom line, another S&P 500 all-time close and good, good action from the leaders. So let's take a look at the trades today. So, so first one was cores. We took a starter in this one. And so this is a, this is a crypto miner, but they also have an AI computing angle. And as you can see, this broke out from this IPO base, huge run up, and now it's making a high tight flag, right? The correction's been, been not that deep from that 1070 high, and this uh, doubled from this base breakout. So this one looks good. It's forming a high tight flag, tons of momentum in the right theme. And so one thing I want to know is, you know, this is a crypto miner, but the reason it's performing well is because like I mentioned, as the AI data center angle. The other name is Iron, and you can see this one, huge outperformance, and you can see these numbers. And, you know, we thought Cores had a better risk to reward, but this is a, another one in, in that sector. And then Wolf, this is another one that's been acting really well because they have that angle. And most people are always thinking about, you know, the, the Maras, and these are still Bitcoin miners, but they don't have that AI data center angle. And the price can tell you that with not even knowing. These haven't had as big of moves. CLSK is another one, right? Just in a huge range. And then Riot is another one. And this one hasn't even made a move. So that's the reason some of those are performing so well. And then ARM, ARM's another one that we took a starter in, right? So this 164 level, um, that was that previous high. And then 150 was the high volume close from this day. And, you know, it it shot up here with no right side development, but it came back and it's handling out here. And um, and it once it pierced above that 164 level, you have the 21 day right here. The risk to reward was good. And I'll just show an intraday chart, right? So it started to pop right around 1030. And that coincided with NVIDIA, right? You know, 1035, it broke that opening range highs and trended all day. And you can look at ARM compared, did similar. So the semiconductors and chip stocks were strong. And this is obviously a clear leader. RS line just trending really nicely. Um, so took a starter in that one. And then... Sold NVIDIA hedge for some of the taxable clients. You know, it was, you could have argued that this was a bear flag, but 
the 21 day continued to hold and this popped back above the eight EMA. And really Nvidia still hasn't had that harsh pullback that everyone's been talking about. You know, it's over owned in funds and whatnot. This continues to act really well. And um, that's why I took the hedge off today. So top performers in the 21, Nvidia leading the way. Let's see, sort of Nvidia leading the way. APP starting to pop. Maybe we'll see if it can get through this base. Coherent, still after that news on this day, this is forming another flag. So this looks great. NRGU up 2%. Like I mentioned, we saw a big rally in uh in commodities. Uber, um, you know, had these last two days have been a super weak open. And then look. Like, so the last two days, super harsh selling off the open, rallying to the close. Super harsh selling off the open, rallying to the close. Now this continued um, and, you know, you got the 21 day right there. So this is forming a pretty solid base. Apple, um, ever since that breakout, broke out of this continuation flag, continuing higher. Crowd just getting dead tight here. And as you can see, it's got a three weeks tight. And if I look at the, it's so the cyber security ETF um, outperforming right now. So definitely a focus on, on that sector. Um, some of the losers, a &F, you know, popped yesterday, acting fine, just in the space. Sark, obviously, with ARC strength, I'll just pull up ARC. Yeah, so this is one we're watching, right? It broke this down trend line back above the 200-day RS line, hooking back. And this is one ETF that, if breath gets into gear, this can outperform quite a lot. So we always kind of keep our eye on it. And then Amazon. So Bezos sold more, more stock today. Amazon didn't really like it, but as long as this is holding above 191 level of the breakout spot, that's it's acting fine. And obviously getting, um, getting rejected at 200, which is a psych level. Elf kind of forming another handle inside this base. And then Lily, there's been a lot of news on this one. And, um, you know, it held the 21 day overall looks fine. So in some charts of interest, so I covered a few already, but um, Hood. So this one is another, you know, Bitcoin meme stock beneficiary. And this one is kind of forming a little cheat here after this big move up. It's based pretty nicely. So watching this one on strength. PANW with with cybersecurity stocks coming back. This had that big up upgrade on this gap day, um, gapped up on nice volume, and now it's getting really tight. This is a you know five six day flag, um, so this looks good. And you know reasonable target would be maybe it tries to fill that gap down from earnings. VST. So some of these utility stocks popped up today, and. These had huge moves, right? So huge moves from 30 bucks all the way to 100. Pulled back to the 50 day and it danced around here, undercut it a couple of times, and now it finally popped back up. And if you look at XLU, for example, you know, below the 50 day, but tried to bounce a little bit. But um, VST is your leader here. This maybe can start to outperform. And then you have NRG that's sitting right at the 50 day. And then NVT as well, trying to get back above the 50 day. So keeping an eye on some of these utility power names. Um, ESTC, this is another software name similar to PAN, but PANW, but this is coming against, this is, it gapped down on earnings and underperformed for quite some time, but now, you know, it rallied back up and now it's getting tight right under here. And, you know, maybe it goes for a gap fill up there. We don't know, but we'll keep it on watch. SM, SMCI is another one I'm going to mention. Um, this is forming another big base. It, it is building higher, higher highs, but, um, you know, or sorry, higher lows, but lower highs. And it's in this big wedge. So maybe if it can break out and if you look at the weekly overall, it's getting pretty tight. So maybe this goes through a phase of base building, but the fundamentals haven't changed. Um, so yeah, that's some charts for interests. Um, and 
yeah, that's going to wrap it. As always, like to hear from you. My email is Connor at Revere Asset, and you can reach out to Dan and Don at Revere Asset. Phone is 855 Real Wealth. That is 855 732 5932. And if you're interested in becoming a client, please reach out. And with that, I'll wrap it for Wednesday, July 3rd. This is Connor Bates with Revere Asset Management, telling it like it is. Thanks for listening and have a good holiday, July 4th, tomorrow. And um, see you guys back on Friday.